Hi guys, so this is one of the videos that you've been waiting for a really long time. It's how to build a capsule wardrobe, so thank you so much for being so patient. The truth is, every time I went to film this video, something went wrong. Either the lighting was bad, or the audio wasn't working, or my autofocus stopped working. So here it is, the video on how to build a capsule wardrobe, and fingers crossed it turns out perfectly. So having a capsule wardrobe for me has saved me so much time and efficiency as well as money. A capsule wardrobe is essentially a wardrobe that's based upon key investment pieces that work really well with other items in your wardrobe and they really maximize your wardrobe so that it can cover you from you know smart work events to casual weekends. It's about getting I guess as much dollar per wear out of your clothing. It goes against the principle of having lots of different clothes all squashed and compacted into a wardrobe. It's kind of like having, I guess, a minimalist wardrobe. Now, I absolutely love my wardrobe. It's neatly organized, um, it's color coordinated, and I know that all the pieces go together. So no matter how tired I am in the morning when I get up and I'm putting, I can grab a couple of pieces and know that what I put together is gonna look reasonably nice and attractive and I can get on with my day without having to sort of waste time umming and ahhing about what I'm going to wear in the day. I love all the pieces in my wardrobe and I feel uplifted and inspired getting dressed in the morning or getting ready to go to you know, an event or meeting friends for drinks. And because I love all the key pieces in my wardrobe, I feel inspired and motivated to keep my wardrobe neatly organized at the best of times. So this video is how I personally built my capsule wardrobe. Now, behind me is my whole entire wardrobe. I don't have any clothes in storage. Then the reason why I do that is I don't, if I don't see it, I forget about it and it's a waste of money and I'll end up going and buying the same thing, you know, six months later and that's just simply a waste of money. This wardrobe behind me covers me for all four seasons. Yes, in Sydney, you know, summer gets really hot and winter can get reasonably cold, but what I simply do is I just layer the layer clothing that I already own. So the first step that I took was I pulled absolutely everything out of my wardrobe, nothing was left, and I put it into a huge pile on the bed. I then put only back into the wardrobe the pieces that I absolutely loved and could not possibly fathom passing with. These are the, uh, the dresses, the tops, the skirts, the pants that I love wearing, I know suit me, look good on me, and make me feel good. Then from that I put into a pile of clothes that I just didn't like anymore. Clothes that were worn out, um, the colors had faded, they were torn, they didn't fit me anymore, just didn't make me feel attractive or um, confident about myself when I put them on. That went into a pile in the room, but I didn't chuck it out and I'll come back to that in a second. The remaining pile on my bed, I sift through slowly, analyzing each piece and putting them back into my wardrobe, but I made sure that everything that went back into my wardrobe was put like neatly folded away or hung up properly. And I put them back into a special order. Now, as I said, this is the wardrobe behind me, and I'm quite particular about how I hang my clothes so that when I do get have to get dressed in a hurry, I know where everything is. And I hang it in a color-coordinated, organized manner. So I go from uh, light to dark. So you'll see I've got light pants going all the way through to black pants. I've got light tops going all the way through to dark tops, and light jackets going all the way to dark jackets. So getting dressed is so much easier and finding things in a hurry is so much easier. The next step that I did was I did some serious analysis. I went through the pile of stuff that I was essentially throwing out or giving away, selling or donated. And I looked at each piece and looked at where I went wrong. I want to learn from my mistakes so I don't waste my precious time and money, you know, going shopping in the future. And things that I realized in going through that pile is there were certain, um, there were common um, brands that were coming up in that th throwaway pile. And so I now know to avoid those shops and not bother buying things because either I know that the fabric doesn't suit me or the quality isn't good enough, or simply that style is not really reflective of who I am and what I like. So I guess a very powerful observation can come from looking at things of where you've gone wrong in your shopping. Next step that I took was looking at what I allowed back into my wardrobe, what, was, what I allowed myself to keep, and why it was that I loved those individual pieces. Now this I spent some time doing and I did something a little bit different. I actually wrote down to, and actually articulated <clears throat> what it was that I loved about each piece. So I wrote this list and went through each individual piece and really looked at it and thought, 
why why have I why do I love this piece why does it make me feel good about it when I put it on and how does it work why does it work so well with my other pieces and I came across some very common themes that help me define and articulate my personal style so I have a, I guess a greater understanding about my sense so from this list I became more conscious of what my style is all about and things like you know discovering my, my color palette that I never really had spent much time thinking about and as you can see you know from doing this um, I wear a lot of blues I wear a lot of light pinks and I, I love neutrals so blacks um, nudes and whites and navy blues I then realized that I like quite a crisp and sharp cut in my clothing also fabric is incredibly incredibly important I like fabrics that feel soft against my skin no matter how much I like a piece if it doesn't feel good on me it never actually gets warm because whenever I, I look at it and think about it I get like a shudder and think oh no it's gonna make me feel itchy or it's gonna make me feel fat because it's too tight that is really important to me then also realized I um, am very particular about my stripes and patterns I generally don't like patterns I occasionally allow a little bit of leopard print in my wardrobe but that's it and when it comes to buying stripes super particular I like clearly defined stripes where the color is very strict and straight no like fabric dyeing or bleeding of fabrics between the two different colors I also realized that when it comes to you know I always have two different styles when um, my weekends with Rocco I like super comfortable clothes that are machine washable um, and you know comfortable for running around in and make me feel happy and positive whereas for work I like a lot more of a serious structured look you know lots of um, blazers um, pencil skirts um, uh, stilettos um, but I still overall like a very classic clean look also from defining my style and what pieces remained again I was able to identify common shops or common brands that were remaining my wardrobe and it also gave me I guess permission to continue on shopping in these in these stores because I know that the, the fabric works well the quality is good for me and the color palettes they use work with my existing wardrobe the next step that I took was I looked at my I guess daily activities what is my week made up of how, how much time do I spend in front of clients dressed in a professional manner how much time do I spend you know running around with Rocco on the weekends how much time do I spend going to the gym um, how much time do I spend going to events or going out to dinner with friends getting dressed up I then put allocated a certain percentage to those times and I was able to reflect that back in my wardrobe so I realized that I needed to maybe spend some more money on gym wear and lounge wear because I spend more time than I realize actually exercising the same went for evening wear I realized I was spending more time you know going out to dinners or, or meeting friends for drinks and I needed to actually invest in a few more key pieces for my I guess date night outfits by listing out your activities it forces you to really look at your the reality of your life and your daily activities and make sure that you don't waste you know time and money on things like lots of party dresses when you spend your days you know studying and going to university it will mean that you get a lot more wear out of your wardrobe and also it means you'll minimize any guilty purchases next step that I took was I considered whose style really inspires me you know and and sat down and worked out what it is that actually you know uplifts me or motivates me or makes me look at that person in that photograph and go wow what an amazing outfit how do they put that together and I came up with two key people one being Jackie Onassis and the other one is Olivia Palamo both have the most chic classic style that doesn't matter what is necessarily in fashion at the moment they still look like a million dollars look so glamorous and desirable and polished and put together and instead of just naming those people I actually looked at photographs on them of them online and looked at the way they you know for example the way they tucked the t-shirt in or way they rolled up a sleeve or the way that they opened up a collar and structured it with a, a beautiful necklace or a delicate necklace or with a, a beautiful cuff starting to actually spend time looking at the details of how they put together their outfits so that I can incorporate those ideas in the way I put together my own individual outfits once you know whose style um, and that you love it's really easy to get to know it more especially by using things like Instagram and Pinterest and even lookbook start collecting images that you of the, your favorite people wearing amazing outfits so that you inspires you and you take that headspace and perspective when you do go shopping this is really valuable because it also stop you from getting distracted and caught up with whatever is in fashion at the time the final step that I took was 
I put in my phone a list of every single item that I owned in my wardrobe. And then from that, I picked out what are the key staples in my wardrobe. And for me, it was things like pencil skirts um, for work and tailored pants for work. And for weekend wear, it was basically jeans. Now they're, the, I guess, the foundation or the pillars of my capsule wardrobe. They're the essential pieces that I, when I go shopping, I need to make sure whatever I buy matches those pieces. So for example, taking my pencil skirt that I wear for work and I, I love putting on each day, I will only buy pieces that I know will work well with that skirt because I do not want to buy a top and then realize that it doesn't go with anything in my wardrobe and realize it's either going to be a waste of money on that top or have to go and buy another bottom piece to go with that. It's a complete waste of time, money and energy. The same with my jeans. I make sure, you know, whatever top I buy will match those jeans. And if possible, I try and buy pieces that are multifunctional. So if I'm buying a blouse, I will make sure that blouse not only matches and works with my pencil skirt, but it will also work with my jeans. And then my final tip on how I've built my capsule wardrobe and how I've maintained my capsule wardrobe is I regularly review. I regularly look through it. I regularly pull out pieces that don't fit me anymore or are stained or tired or need to be replaced. I also spend time regularly reorganizing it, making sure that those times where I'm in a hurry and I rush to put my clothes away, I go back in at a later time and just reorganize it and refold the, the, the jumpers to make sure it's all neatly organized and it works for me. By regularly reviewing your wardrobe, you'll find pieces that kind of got slightly pushed to the back that you forgot about and you can actually pull them out, look at them and you're more likely to wear them and get your dollars per wear. You should love every single item that's in your wardrobe. It should make you feel great when you put it on and you should enjoy putting it on. That's it for this video. As always, I hope this video helped. If you haven't already, I highly recommend watching my video on how to stop or slow down shopping because I give you more tips and tricks as to how to define your style and how to stop wasting your precious money. If you have any questions or feedback, please put it in the comments box below. Also, if you have any more video requests, please make sure you add them. I'm trying to get these videos made for you as quickly as possible. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. And you can also follow me on Instagram at sugarmama.tv. I will see you next week on Lifestyle Love or Money Monday. And don't forget, check out the Sugar Mama website for more stories. See you next week. Ciao!